would say that typically speaking, I find the average person who is just going through their life and yet seeking ways to sort of understand humanity a bit better, like while all that's all fine and good, that does not meet my personal standards or my personal qualifications for, for being able to show up as a coach for me. So I'm very choosy. Where I've indulged in coaching opportunities with people simply to make them feel good or to help fulfill, you know, an objective, tick a box, whatever, and not really getting any significant results. And that, I mean, I, and I would say, like, there, 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 there was a definitive departure in this, in this instance, um, which I knew going in because I know you and I, I know your work. I know how you show up in the world and personally, professionally, all of these things. So I had an inherent level of trust. So I would say initially, like where where I was in my life at that at that point in time, really required a deep dive into some like practical brass tacks of how do I show up in the world professionally, right? Like I knew that what I had known up until that point felt um, like it was lacking in a lot of ways, simply because of my own life um, experiences and trajectory. Right? I left my culture of origin. I took my skills from my culture of origin, tried to apply them elsewhere. They failed <laughs> on so many levels in such like, wow. Like you couldn't even imagine how, how, how little your beliefs or thoughts or perspectives apply until you take them out of where everyone else is thinking the same thing that you're thinking and, and try to apply them elsewhere. So for me, re-entering in a very distinct way, like sort of the Western concept of, of how you show up professionally um, was was paramount. Like that, that, that was the biggest sort of obstacle that I had immediately in front of me. So knowing who I was working with um, in terms of, of, of your professional experience, I, I was able to harness uh, your perspectives and your, your experience and expertise and um, be able to extrapolate this current best practice, right? And to be able to sort of assimilate how, how, how your perspective of current best practice might apply to my life and help me leverage beyond where I was showing up for myself in that moment professionally. Um, and then even going beyond that, going to a, to a deeper, a deeper, more spiritual sort of personal development level. I mean, that, that was always underpinning it. From my perspective, it was, it was incredibly beneficial to be able to toggle between the two because ultimately my lifestyle is one that's steeped in, in personal development and spiritual development and kind of cultivating myself as the best person I can be walking walking through this life. And part of that, obviously, is going to encompass a professional realm. So how do I marry the two? You know, how do I show up as my best self, encompassing all of those things that are so vitally important to me? And, and I felt like I had a really good platform for being able to address all of those kinds of questions and concerns in a, in a very contemporary fashion. I would say that um, my perspective of how I show up personally and professionally is more in alignment with how mainstream a professional society shows up. I feel like I've I've really had an opportunity to take my my personal blinders off with that and, and to be able to at least make more informed choices. Quite honestly, the mainstream bores me. <laughs> I really prefer to dance in the periphery, and yet I understand that the balance of the two is really important. However, not really understanding current mainstream was, I felt, was very limiting. So I've, 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 I've definitely progressed beyond that as a result of my coaching. And of course, you know, from from the personal development, you know, the spiritual development side, you know, to be in conversation with, you know, 
with a peer, with somebody who is who is also very um, grounded in how do we, you know, like how do we walk this path in a very sort of like earth dimensional kind of reality, um, and still and and to be able to show up um, in both you know, these kind of more woo-woo realms and still grounded into practical, you know, um, brass tacks of being able being able to, you know, facilitate your life and to flourish in that regard. So it felt like there was a really, there was an interesting balance. It, it, it ticked a lot of boxes for me personally, knowing that I have, you know, just a lot of, unique experiences and unique perspectives that that are decidedly outside of like mainstream consciousness. You know, I I I was able to feed feed a lot of different aspects of my character as a result of this process. Um yes, I would absolutely recommend coaching with John because specifically what I've I've identified along along the way, you know, just the balance between being able to, to kind of do a deeper dive into your highest self, like your most personal self, your most spiritual self, and being able to go in whatever, you know, whatever direction that takes you, and yet also being able to tie it in, you know, circle back around and ground it into your most practical sort of everyday experiences, however that shows up for you personally. And so there's 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 tremendous benefit in that. Um you know, being able to kind of walk multiple paths simultaneously and integrate it in, into one like really fulfilling, um, well rounded perspective of, of how you show up in the world. I mean, I would say first and foremost, you know, be accountable to yourself. Understand what it is that's up for you in that moment um, and be able to present it because whatever it is you bring forward in your session is going to, you know, it's, it's, it's going to create a whole experience that, that John is going to be able to not only comment on but also help guide you through so that you you – land, you sort of arrive at a place and space in your in your personal experience with your coaching session, with whatever it is you're bringing into your coaching session, it's really, it's going to leverage you in a way that it's going to give you food for thought. It's going to like, give you so much to work with that the next time you meet and have that next hour together, like the sort of foundation that you've you know, the next layer of the foundation that you've that you've laid in place is, is only going to continue to catapult you further down your own path. So you know, like you're ultimately responsible for doing your own work, you know, and showing up for yourself so that that you can you know, you can reap the most benefit from your time together because there's there's certainly a lot of like intu- intuition intuitive responses as well as like practically grounded like life experience responses from John that will that will come into play in your sessions that can be very rich and very rewarding and certainly leverage you further along your path than you might have thought otherwise possible. So what's different in this type of coaching again from from my my personal perspective it was Knowing how vitally important it was for me to take the experience, like the professional level and the spiritual development, personal development level, and being able to marry the two together, and that was, and I, I'll, I'll, you know, say that 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 was probably more important in the beginning of my sessions, and then once those issues were addressed, I was able to kind of let go what I thought I didn't know and simply had to remind myself about professionally and be able to do the deeper dive into the, into the personal development, spiritual development side and to be able to play within that realm um, and how that might differ like be differentiated from therapy 
You know, I mean, I suppose it's not just simply an ongoing query into why I am how I am or how I show up, how I show up. I mean, like, there there have been actual sort of, like, grounded exercises and practices and new ways, upgraded ways of, of perceiving and thinking about my life as it stands in this moment that that I felt like I could take action around. Not that you can't take action around things that happen in therapy, but for me, like, there's just, I don't know, there's, there's, there's just, there's this essence of the spiritual development side that transcends any sort of, like, third dimensional type of reality conversation. Um, and again, this, this might go too far into the woo for some people. Um, however, that, that was something that really resonated with me was that I could just sort of, just let that go. Just, you know, they, to be able to express myself in a way that made sense to me and know that it was being heard. The sum total would be, like, the range, the range of possibility in conversation was very comprehensive from, from very practical, like, how do I negotiate a contract with someone to, you know, how do, how do I tap into my highest self in sort of like a a fifth dimensional and beyond reality type of space. And like, and just being able to be met regardless of where I was and like what was really coming up for me in those moments. Like there, there was always that space that was available and was being held uh, and understood and respected and responded to in a way that made me feel like I was still, I was, I was progressing every step of the way.